over the period of the last few months, Harry has, I think he's he started to come to terms with the fact that this very important friendship that he has um, with Mary Claire, um, which is which is a sort of friends with benefits arrangement, um, but also obviously they're very fond of each other. Well, he's I think he's finally come to terms with the fact that he he loves her, um, and just at the point where he builds up the nerve to actually tell her this. Um, he has this terrible accident where he falls off the side of Holby General um, and uh, crashes to the ground, sort of 30 or 40 foot, and obviously, um, well, at first, the audience um, think that, um, and Mary Claire think that uh, he's dead. Um, but uh, he, he lives to fight another day, and, um, yeah, it turns out he, he just has these incredibly severe injuries, um, liver injuries and, obviously, facial injuries as well. How does he learn to come to terms with what's happened to him? How does he learn to come to terms? Um, well, I think the first reaction is um, anger and frustration and shock and, you know, this feeling that it's incredibly unfair, um, you know, and I think that's probably true to life when you have some horrific injury like that which debilitates you and stops you from living life normally or changes the way you look. Um, dramatically there are probably uh, just such a lot of emotions going on in, inside your head and, and it's just incredibly confusing and annoying and, and sad and and so I think what we, what we were trying to show is um, this very very short temper suddenly he gets incredibly angry um, and he starts to blame everyone and he pushes away those who are close to him and I think that's that is what happens sometimes you know people they tend to react uh, negatively and harshly towards those who love them because they want to express the way that they're feeling um, and then as time passes I think he begins to realize um, that actually there's no point in being like that and you have to come to terms with it and you have to be brave and that also that there are worse people out there there are people who've died um, and with the scene um, that was shown recently um, Harry actually begins to change his attitude based on this young girl Fletcher's daughter who comes in who's just lost her mother um, and she sort of says oh I wish my mum had facial injuries instead of being dead um, and I think that makes Harry feel pretty bad and he needs to stop complaining and start to get his head around how to move forward with his life. So I think this accident has um, has been the the impetus for, for Mary Claire to, to sort of think about how she feels towards Harry um, and she realises that she does love him um, and you know she wants to she wants to be with him um, but on the other hand um, I think Harry then starts to think, well, I don't want you to be with me just because I look like this. And he, there's that pride thing, and there's a sense of not wanting to um, to have people pity him. Um, so again, there's, there's another sort of whole layer of emotions going on there, where he's absolutely, you know, just just adamant that she shouldn't feel that she has to be with him.